Hey everybody, this is the Jack Chapel Show. Today we're gonna be talking about like the daily life of a young entrepreneur like myself. So I've gotten, I think I'm almost at a thousand emails and messages from you guys over the past two months. And I only got one asking me what my daily life is like. I got a lot of questions about how to start a business, how to invest. Oh man, I got a lot of those, how to invest. Holy fucking shit, you guys wanna know how to invest. Um, you know, how did you get your license, real estate, all that stuff. Um, but only one asked me about the daily life of an entrepreneur. So this is something important which I want all you guys to take in. So here we go. What is, I'm gonna, by the way, I am going to make a, eventually, because my, my life is starting to change a little bit now, but um, eventually I'm probably gonna make a little bit of a vlog series just so you guys can kind of get an insight onto what, into what my life is like, I guess to kind of help you guys out. Because like, I was talking about this in another video. Wouldn't it be great if like fucking Warren Buffett or like Mark Cuban or one of those billionaires were to make like a vlog showing you what their life was like? And like how, what their daily business life is like. And I know Gary Vee does that and I fucking, I watch almost all of his videos. They're great. They're, some are three minutes, some are 20 minutes, but I love them all. I want to do something like that. So, but you know, the difference between me and Gary Vee and Ty Lopez that make daily vlogs almost is that they're 45 years old and I'm 23. <laughs> so I'm hustling, but I'm two decades younger so I can kind of relate to you guys more than they can. So, what is my daily life like? Holy shit. Um, where do we start with this one? I guess a common misconception that people think is that if you're an entrepreneur, you make your own hours, you don't have to work as hard. No nope, bullshit. If you want to be an entrepreneur, the one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys is that I work probably 12 to 16 hours or more a day. I had a day last week where I didn't sleep at all and I worked for, I fuck, I do not kid you, I had like a lot, I had a few meal breaks and I had a few exercise breaks of like a, an hour or two or a couple hours. I worked 24 hours without sleep, like 24 fucking straight hours, just writing, reading, calling people, meeting people, all that stuff, driving places, um, seeing property, all, like all this stuff, right? 12 to 16 hours a day. That's just me average. I mean, some days, you know, I'm, I'm not fucking crazy. Some days I'll, I'll only work, you know, four hours, right? G you know, that, uh, that day where I worked 24 straight hours on no sleep, I followed it up with a four hour work day. That's just what I did. Um, but you have to be obsessed with what you guys do. So that's a message I should give to you guys is that you gotta be obsessed in the right way. You can't, uh, if you want to become an entrepreneur and you don't like what you're doing, what you're selling, what you're making, what you're producing, what you're using for you, what you're doing for your service, it's just not for you because it's going to be a fucking hectic life. So I work 12 to 16 hours a day. I generally get up, actually, this has changed recently. I used to get up every day at 5 a.m., sometimes earlier, 4.30, but I used to get up every day at 5 a.m., but I've been noticing recently that I've just been sleeping and getting up whenever I want. So for example, right now we're filming a bunch of videos. We are film, I, f I film like five to 10 at a time usually. So I'm gonna go off camera for one second here to, to check the time. Right now, because I slept for eight hours from the afternoon to night, um, I'm recording this at 2.45 a.m. at a studio that I, that I got. So, I mean, this is a makeshift one. It's gonna be nicer in three months when I'm actually moving into my office. But for now, this is a makeshift one that we got. So I'm recording this at 2.45 a.m. I, I, in fact, I've noticed that I've been producing more between the hours of midnight and 5 a.m. working than I have you know, between the hours of 11 and, and 4 p.m. That's just what I've noticed recently, which is good. I mean, I, that's what works for me right now. And it might not work for me in five months. I don't know. But right now, I just kind of sleep when I want and I get up when I want, which is, which is great. Apart if I have, unless I have a meeting or a Skype call with someone or uh, you know, the app developer or whatever, whatever we're doing that day. Sometimes I have meetings, sometimes I don't. I would say about every other day I have some sort of appointment that I have to go to for at least an hour. But generally speaking, I can just do whatever I want on most days. But I usually start the day, I wake up, I get breakfast, 
I head to my 24 hour gym. I work out for about 45 minutes to an hour and sometimes more, sometimes it's two hours, but it all depends. And then I come back and uh, generally I'm on the computer. I'm on the computer probably eight hours a day. Um, I'm listening to podcasts 24 seven. I'm either like whatever I want, goals I wanna get done today. If I wanna make some ads online, um, if I want to make a new marketing campaign, if I wanna make YouTube videos, if I wanna answer emails, if I want to do whatever, I just do eight hours of whatever I wanna get done that day first. And then the extra eight hours is all the bonus shit that I wanna get done. So like, um, yeah, like I have been, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that I wanna do eight hours of writing a book. What I'll do is eight hours of like, real estate stuff or eight hours of ad stuff or marketing stuff or consulting stuff. And then I'll do eight hours of like writing a book, writing the book. That's what I'll do. So, and the book's almost done by the way. It's like I have one more chapter left and then I got to format it and put it on Amazon and uh, it's going to be super cheap because it's 50 pages. It's going to be like $4 or something. I don't, I don't want to make it that expensive. I want everyone to just kind of have it. It's going to be life lessons of an entrepreneur kind of thing of myself and stuff that I wish I would have known before uh, getting into all this. So, Anyways, that uh, 12 to 16 hours, um, yeah, some days I'll work four hours, I'll get up at 5 a.m. It's really hectic, and the one thing it's, that's tough for me to say is that my day is different every fucking day, which is also what I love about this, is that I wake up, I don't gotta get up at the exact same time every day. I don't, it's just what, how I like to live my life. I can get up at whenever I want, usually. And then, uh, like some days I'll, maybe I don't work out. Maybe I want to work first, or maybe I want to go see my girlfriend or something. I don't know, right? It changes every single day. And when you, if you guys want to become entrepreneurs, that is something you're going to have to get used to. You can't be in the habit of doing the same thing over and over and over again, unless you're have one of those weird businesses that does that, where you have to do the same thing over and over and over again every single day. But generally speaking, if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to have different problems to solve every day and different goals every single day. So is that something you want? Are you okay with not having a routine? Are you okay with that? So I guess just to kind of go through an, an average day, not a typical day, but like if you were to average all my days, I'd get up early, I'd go work out, come back, eat some food, work for eight hours with maybe like making some food in between there. Um, and then after those eight hours, I'll generally take like a 20, 30 minute break just to kind of get my mind straight. Sometimes I'll go work out in my home gym, lift some weights, go for a little bit of a run, something like that. And then, uh, and then it's back to work. And then I work for another four hours minimum. That's just what I do. And then I'll either, <laughs> then I'll either go to bed or I'll play like an hour of video games and go to bed. Or I'll just, that's it. Like that's my day. I just work all day. <laughs> so... Is that something that you guys can do? Is it worth, actually, you know what? Here's a question for you guys. Leave it in the comments. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think. So I currently work, you know, 16 hour, you know, 12 to 16 hours a day. Would you guys be okay with that in your life to give up whatever your pastime is, whatever your hobbies are, to make $100,000 in a year doing something that you like? Would you guys be willing to do that? I'm guessing, because I talked to a lot of my friends about this, a lot of them aren't willing to do that. They aren't willing to give up partying or going out and seeing friends every other night or um, I, don't, I don't even know, going to see a movie once a week or twice a week. Stuff like that. Would you guys be willing to give that up f to make more money? I was, all right? I, saw my, I see my friends like once a month, right? That's it. I go see them once a month and maybe I see my girlfriend once a week. That's about it. And sh like, that's what you got to do to have a successful business. Sometimes you have to eat shit for like a couple years to build up your business before. And then you can cut down your hours afterwards, maybe. But anyways, that's kind of my daily life. It's just, you work a lot. You don't have, you don't have any typical hours. You just keep going and going and going. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. You're all very beautiful people. I'll see you guys in the next video.